where you put it? When people say I'm doing nothing, it's because I'm fetching this to me. I'm fetching this bloody cushion. You did put it where I couldn't get it. So I didn't think you'd need it. I can't even climb in the van, never mind over all that shit. Yeah. As you can see, you've got the bricks up on the hop-ups on the board next to that. So we'll work so far, move the board to the other side. Profiles up, motor on the boards, sun's in the sky. Hello, Monday the, is it 4th today? Yes. 4th of March and another beautiful day, forecast all day. I think we've got a good week forecast. So there's the uh, progress. Looking good. The um, pavement's in quite good condition. See it nice and clean because we covered it and posed it down. Good job we covered it for the frost because we had a frost overnight. This is actually quite slippy. Uh, we've got the kettle just in case the sand's frozen to get the first mix going because it's going to warm up to about 10 today. So um, yeah, we'll have to um, double check how high that wall is because we're following that. Pier caps should be coming into huge grain burst go today. They've had that brought over from another branch for me, so I'm gonna go and pick that up when it comes in. Might just pick a bag of tarmac up for fixing this and try and get hold of a block paver to patch this hole and maybe a couple of these curbs. We don't usually do stuff like that, so I don't know where to get that kind of stuff from, and nobody stocks anything anymore. So that's the plan. Just need to go to um, scrape with the trowel because it was very wet pointing that yesterday. I could probably point it again now. Looking good, isn't it? Yeah. Nice brick then. <coughs> if you look at the colour of the bricks, and then you look at the colour of the bricks on the house, very similar colours. So it, it does it does blend well with the house. So um, let's get these boards down and get loaded out. There you go, all sorted, all loaded, profiles up, motor on the boards, sun's in the sky, love it. These are the kind of days where you're glad to be at work even if you have got a sore leg. Uh, it's at a nice height now for me as well. So we've got another one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going from ten in this far end. <clears throat> so we've got another four courses on top of that. And obviously the pillar goes up a little bit. Four courses is a bit, little bit lower than the wall next door, but he doesn't want it that high anyway. That's been li that's been extended that wall. So um, yeah, quick one again, just to, in detail about the, this fixed brick um, line block. Fits straight over your blakes. Not sure if it fits on box section. It probably does, but uh, we don't use box section. So let me just set this um, camera up so you can see what I'm doing. So. I struggled with this when I first got it, but it's so simple when you realise how to use it. <clears throat> so you've got your two um, two little studs for your line, and then you've got this groove for your bricks to sit in. So your line hooks around there, 
pull it tight. I'm not pulling it tight because it's not fixed at the other end. And then it goes into that groove there on the side. On this corner, it goes into that groove, stop it dragging on your profile. And then round to the back where you just hitch it up like so. Then you've got your little adjuster to use little clamp to when you once you've set it, you just give that a half a turn to hold it in place. And the also the other good thing about this is because we're building this pillar instead of plumbing every course on this end because we've got this in place profiles up so this is what, so as long as this profile's plumb that brick going into this plumb so I don't have to that's one plumbing point gone so I don't have to worry about this plumbing point well the only plumbing point I've got now is there and then every course I then measure 330 330 330 and that's my pillar no plumbing it's well one plumbing point um, just a little bit quicker these little things help and um, the reason it's 330 is because some of these bricks are really big so we've just made the, uh, the joints slightly bigger on the pillar so yeah absolutely brilliant that and obviously at the other end we've been using the fixed bricks we've been using all the, all the gear we've got the originals for the single skin and we've got the big penny clamps for the for both skins these will be coming in later when we do the brick and edge yeah, get yourself some of them, you won't regret it. And if you're on the Blakes, definitely get yourself some of them. They they enhance the Blakes so much, better than those little plastic line clips. And also, where your line meets here, your line doesn't overlap, so your line's level. Whereas everyone knows on the, on the Blakes plastic clips that, that your line overlaps itself. So yeah.
dry the most. It's the sand, isn't it? Yeah. These bricks still aren't dry. You look it, but they're not. I bet you the blues go off quicker, you know, because the brick and edge. Pardon? I bet the blues go off quicker because of the brick and edge. Yeah. It's weird that the brick and edge is sort of going off so
bricks. Just got my ear. Uh, very sudden distress on camera. Good. Nobody stocks these around here. They have to wait in the lane and see bricks. per course so there's about 20 20 about 20 there so 4 8 12 16 20 27 there's 27 there and we've got enough there for the pillar god for that that was a close one we won't have many left over that's for sure so um just time lapse to this last last course of heads and then um, i'll get this pillar up and run to the blues
Go easy with the water now, let it mix. Yeah, off then. Yes, finally. Two days on the truck getting giddy. Hey. Two days on the truck getting giddy. Oh no, it's reckon it's gonna be a good week, don't we? All yeah. week, so you'll see. Saturday I was frozen to the core in that rain. Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> couldn't feel my hands, couldn't feel my feet. Oh no. And then it went over, got a cold beer out of the fridge. <laughs> oh, <you know. laughs> Yeah, let me show you. Little, I've never shown you how to do, do a pillar. But well, I do a pillar. You know how to do a pillar. You, you pull it one end. I mean, I mean, how I actually go about it. So this is easy because I've got the profiles to work on. So pick your pillar up. On a brick and half pillar, and just butter your end and work your way around the pillar. Push it in. Don't go against the header. Push the header against the brick. So you're always pushing like that. Just like you're setting the brick normally. Yeah. So you push that on there, push that on there, and then you slip the last one in at the end. It stops the bricks pushing out as much. Yeah.
Same when you, I'll say when you're leveling. Huh? Same when you're leveling, always work off ahead until you stretch you. Yeah. Lie down, hold you to my chest so the wind's not getting you. There we go, profile's finished with now. I just used that while I put, finish this pillar just to use this corner so it build against. So that's ready for the pier cap, which I've not heard anything back from yet. Should have heard by now. I'm sure it was coming in this morning. Walls to full height, 10 at that end. Uh, one, two, four, six, eight, and a bit at that end because they fall on the pavement. Alex has got his four on. Four. Five. Five. I've got four on. As you can see, the fit picks are now on. And let's just put the back one on. We can rattle these in. I think, uh, as you can see, we've got the bricks up on the hop ups and the board next to that. So we'll work so far, move the board to the other side, then move the hop up. And then uh, we've just got enough bricks with um, the ones we've lost from damage. Quite a few chip ones got thrown on this pallet, which is a bit disappointing. Yeah, hopefully it'll join up better today as well because it's, it's sun's out and it's windy and it's warm as well so we should have a better chance of getting jointed we did struggle last night but it does look all right actually you must admit they are nice bricks lovely color really nice so um i think this is the fifth wall we've done out of these bricks now we've got one coming up in thornton over near a gull for um, a subscriber and past customer called Terry so I'll watch this space for that one so now we'll get this thing uh, get this thing done and get tidied up Thank you. 
So I think Dad's... I think Dad's said. I don't know if he has or not, but if he hasn't, he's going to nip off and grab the pier cap. because that's It's Tuesday. I'm in the van, as Dan from Asheville would say, and it's going to be one of his rants as well. I'm currently stuck in Bursco, about half a mile from the roundabout, which goes into the trading estate. And um, there's a new estate on the left here, and it looks like all the services are going in, so there's temporary lights, and the temporary lights are right by the roundabout, so they're basically clogging the roundabout. You can't get into it, you can't get off it, you can't get round it. So I've come the long way round, hoping to come down the main road, but I'm stuck in it, crawling along. And this is all because of a pier cap. I've just been to Hughes Grey to pick a pier cap up, and it's 20 past three, so this is school traffic as well. Um, I rang them up a couple of days ago and said, have you got any uh, slate grey pier caps in, which is the ones we're using the wall? I said, yeah, we've got two in stock. I thought, I had the last two about two weeks ago, but uh, maybe they just restocked them, so went in. Got us in the yard, couldn't find them anywhere. Uh, your two pier caps have gone. All right, says, said they're on the system, have you had a look? Uh, yes, we've had a look. So, um, ready to walk out and give up. I said, right, we've got, we've got some in St. Helens, which is probably an hour's round trip. And um, we've got them in Warrington, which is probably about an hour and 20 minutes round trip. And somewhere else, basically a long way away, nowhere local. Formby, that's it, another hour round trip. I said, okay, so one of the guys uh, said, um, what we'll do is we'll get it put on a wagon tomorrow and brought over. So great, thank you very much. He said, um, just pay for it now, give us your number. As soon as it comes in, we'll ring you. So off I go. And it got to like three o'clock, no phone call. So I rang them. She said, yeah, it's here. So it's got, got in the yard, sat there in a the pallet. So the long, the, the long and the short is, you ring up and ask them if it's in stock, it says the computer says it is. Don't believe them. I took a wasted trip in the first place. <clears throat> I had to go back again today. So I'm stuck in traffic and it's cost. It's going to cost me, I would have been quicker going picking it myself from Formby. It's probably going to cost me 40 minutes by the time I've got, and I'm only a mile from the job. So that's me rant over. And um, we haven't, we've already been, not even moved 50 yards yet. Who knows how long I'm going to be here. It's grim. And they've built hundreds of houses in Bursco, so it's just going to get worse, the traffic. It's ridiculous. So, when you see me next, I'll be back at the wall. And we'll be um, getting it finished off and doing our final outro. So I'll see you back at the job, eventually, whenever I get there. So while he's done that, I'm just uh, getting some stuff sorted out. Put it, uh, cleaning stuff up, moving stuff around, and uh, getting the cooking edge jointed up. And I'll tell you what, oh, chef's kiss. Once that uh, cap goes on, that'll be a, that'll be a nice looking wall. It'll be a nice sturdy wall as well. There you go. Obviously, I'll give that a proper clean off in a minute. I just want to let it go off a bit more before I start sponging it. I might see if I can get a little brush actually instead and not mess with the, uh, the joints too much but there you go I think next I'm just gonna try and clean the mixer out and uh, just get what I can done um, also backfill I need to do so we'll do that and I'll see you when dad comes back do you want to take that off and do it again for me no. <laughs> Keep that rubber hand What a thing of beauty. Uh, I haven't fettled it yet. I just put my hat on freezing. It's gone really cold. There you go. Right, yeah, but while Dad fettles that, I'll uh, do a little show, show and tell. Need the big stick on. But if you're doing that, I'll do that so it's all clean. Yeah. Is the cushion put away? Yeah. Any chance you can I'll do my talking first. Until I get the cushion, I need to get the pavers in, please. Keep this in, so 
Huh? Keep this in so people can see. When people say I'm doing nothing. Look where you put it! When people say I'm doing nothing, it's because I'm fetching <laughs> it to me. I'm fetching this bloody cushion. <laughs> you did put it where I couldn't get it. So I didn't think you'd need it. I can't even climb in the van, never mind over all that shit. Yeah. to patch this up but I just said to Ken we'll come back and fix it customer but he said don't worry about it you should just patch it up temporary because he's eventually going to have an extension and this block of paving goes around the back so when the block of paving goes around the back he's going to use the block of pavers to fix this and patch it up that's how I've been asked to do that so this will be like I'm going to get put whatever we've got left I'm going to put in and then the rest of it is just going to have the black mortar to patch it up so we can still use it over and out, and then I'm going to do this. They've got the, uh, the two foot level on the tape, please. Oh, There we go. I'm doing this now because it's either going to try and rain or go dark by the time we've uh, fully finished. So I'll do our sign out now. But there you go. From what was a very dangerous wall. I know we say that a lot, but they always are. But from a very dangerous, just easily knocked over wall to that beautiful. Fort Knox and then uh, there's dad's patching up which you mentioned that's gonna get sorted out properly when he gets an extension done and he's just uh, pointing up the gap now but there we go that is that's it our signature Chepstone multi wall yeah which uh, the exact same one it's just over there behind me. But yeah, there we go. It's a long day though, we've still got a bit to do. That's why I'm doing this now. So thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, and you want to see more, be sure to hit subscribe and tap on that bell so you'll always be notified. It's always a massive help and we appreciate the support. Any additional support you'd want to give, there's the super thanks under the video or there's the PayPal and Dad's that's PayPal in the video description. Not necessary by any means, but it's always a massive help and it's greatly appreciated towards the channel. Well, this has been Reclaim with Steve and Alex with our signature wall. We'll see you in the next one.